Booyaka in the place, bitches like me. Roots, darling, roots. It's most definitely full of children. I mean, I don't look like actual pedophiles. My seats are so fucking close. Like, look. How is that? Where are we sat? everyone welcome back to another little vlog i have just got back from a trip to greece with anna we went out there with itv and it was really really fun did some fun exciting things however i've realized that the content's not actually going to be out for a few months which i didn't i didn't plan on that happening I didn't think that were going to be the case i thought i was going to be able to post everything that i filmed pretty much straight away but apparently I've never been on live television before. But apparently we can't actually post it until a couple months time, which is annoying, but it's not annoying in the sense because I'm still gonna be able to post it. It's just not, in my head, I like to do things in chronological order. So I'm here thinking like, yeah, you've just seen me be in Greece and that's where I've been for the past few days, but actually you haven't seen me just be in Greece. I was just in Greece with Anna. Anyway, I'm back home now. I literally landed back yesterday um, and came straight back up to Manchester. We landed in East Midlands, got a lovely little car back home and I've slept like a baby. I feel so rejuvenated and so fresh. I woke up this morning nice and early and when I say nice and early, I actually do mean early. I know I was only in Greece for a few days but it was two hours in front. So I woke up at like half past seven, which would have been like half past nine. Kind of a little bit jet lagged. But I won't complain and I was gonna force myself to go back to sleep. However, I just laid in bed, watched some stuff on Netflix. I am so close to finishing the end of my book. So I was gonna read my book, but I can't seem to find it. Don't know where I put it. I also left my tripod round at Anna's yesterday so we're just gonna have to do a little handheld vlog today but I really just wanted to pick up my camera and film some stuff because this trip really gave me a little boost of motivation and inspiration to actually get back on my shit and create content and just not care too much I feel like I always get in my head about everything that I do and I'm here to just say my life's really boring me and Anna are actually going to see Spongebob I don't know if it's the musical. I don't know if it's a West End. Is it a West End? I don't really know the difference between all that. But me and Anna are basically going to watch SpongeBob tonight, <laughs> which I'm really excited about. I loved SpongeBob as a kid. Obviously, for years, had SpongeBob as my intro. Everyone seems to think I'm obsessed with SpongeBob. I'm not quite as obsessed as it may seem. I have SpongeBob socks. And actually, where's my wallet? Let me show you this. This is quite cool, actually. I don't know why we've gone to this tangent, but here we are anyway. Where is my wallet? Yeah, bitch. Have you got one of these? Yeah? Hmm. Hello? Focus. My camera's suddenly got awful at focusing. Look at that. Do you have one of these? I don't think so. Jellyfish membership card. That's what I thought. I'm actually going to take this with me tonight. Don't really know why, but I'm going to... I think we're having a tour backstage actually, so I'm going to take it with me and be like, Guys, back off haters. Is this a crusty crab? No, this is bad trick. Anyway, nice little titty shot there. I need to go to the gym today. I want to have some breakfast. We're just going to... Have a fun, fun-filled morning together. Got a bogey in my fucking nose. <laughs> say earlier that I'll probably be sat on my laptop all day and then be like I'm ready and dressed and guess what I'm ready and dressed I do in fact have can you see my Spongebob socks on me and Anna are just walking up to the theatre now go and watch Spongebob the musical I have my jellyfish membership card well and truly in my wallet I'm saying that base always in my wallet I'm ready to go I'm really exhausted I'm not even walked far why am I out of breath guys we've made it to um, our seats Got a lovely little cider it's most definitely full with children and me and Anna look like actual paedophiles so Maybe the Spongebob socks weren't a good idea because I do look very odd. Yes, I'm 23 and going to see Spongebob the Musical. But don't worry, I have my Spongebob socks on. Can you even see that? I would want to wear one Spongebob, one Patrick, but I can't find my Patrick socks. Also, it's very official around here. Let's go. I'm a grown adult, what am I doing? <laughs> Boots. I'll be 
just said, can we do that again? She was actually asleep, she wants to redo it. from filming my outfit before I left. Literally today's just been non-stop, really, really busy. I didn't really busy. you your camera. I said on the train you should vlog, and you went, mm. No, I did, I vlogged on the train, me and you, no, when you I were asleep. asleep. No, I was not um, I actually didn't film anything this morning because I still haven't unpacked my suitcase from the last clip that I actually filmed. And I got straight on a train, I say got straight on a train, I was editing. Then got straight on a train to London to the little PLT event, which you'll have seen some footage from. And now me and Anna are just going for some food because we're gonna get the train in a couple of hours. In fact, in like an hour's time. And then we're actually going tomorrow, we're gonna see Beyonce. So we're going, we've just been obviously at PLT with all the girls there. And I met, oh gosh, I met the girls at PLT at BBC Coventry when I was really, really drunk. And I woke up the next morning with such bad anxiety because I was so drunk just talking to them before I realized he worked with PLT and then just made such good friends with them. Obviously went to see Harry Styles with them. And guys, they're taking us to see Beyonce in a few weeks. I cannot believe it. Obviously me and Anna have already bought tickets, but we're going twice and we were just talking about that. And now I'm even more excited because obviously so we're going tomorrow so seeing all the girls that we're going with as well in a couple weeks time just like up to my excitement so levels excited. so we're now gonna go for some food we're gonna go to pizza pilgrims because when we lived in london me and has would religiously come here they opened one in the westfields near us and we were all there all the time so we're gonna go to pizza pilgrims have some food and then get back on the train home because we've got a busy day again tomorrow um such a busy day busy week actually know, and then it's Freya's so birthday events. this weekend like this vlog's gonna be great gonna go grab some food and then tomorrow morning i'm getting my hair cut bright and early and then straight on the road to beyonce with no outfits i did hope that with us leaving that event a little bit earlier we could do a bit of shopping but we just went to go in some shops and everything's actually closing so that's not gonna happen my outfit's not arrived yet so we'll pray and cross our fingers that it arrives in the morning otherwise Anna's gonna look slay and I'll look like just her mate who's tagging along because my outfit's not arrived someone's at the door who will it be I'm so ready to go! Yeah. Bessie, you need to hurry up. Look at my outfits, I've got loads planned. You've got what? I've got so many outfits planned, let me show you. So, I've got this one right here. you got no this outfits with you. No, bye-bye. I have nothing, nothing's arrived. Not to rush it, we actually do need to I know, yeah! Because ah. we're going to be very late. Um, am I ever going to start a vlog clip where I'm actually prepared and show you what I'm doing without just being like, I'm doing it now, it's happening! I don't think there is because my life has been so chaotic. I've literally just uploaded a vlog as I'm fucking filming this clip of just the most messiest footage ever and I was just showing it Anna and I just feel like my life or the past couple months has been one very spontaneous, very chaotic, no plan whatsoever to it. I literally woke up at 7am this morning because I was like right I've got so much to do before we leave for Beyonce which we're en route to Beyonce currently. In the full outfits it's currently 25 past 3. We're driving up to Newcastle today to go and see Beyonce. Got my hair cut as you can see, didn't even explain that. But I literally woke up this morning and I spent hours and hours editing some of Saf's videos, I edited one of my vlogs and then and before I knew it, Anna was ringing the doorbell, being that we need to leave. So I did my hair. How quick did I do my hair? I thought I, it was going to take like half an hour to show you actually did it in like five minutes. I well, literally five did my hair, got my outfit on. I'm wearing Anna's little, whatever this is, what's it called? My waistcoat. And a little waistcoat on. We're actually driving up. I wish I could put my camera somewhere, but we're driving up to Beyonce currently. And I've not even told you. I obviously said at the beginning of some point in this vlog, I don't know what this has been. I don't know what anything that I've been filming lately has been. I've just been picking up my camera when stuff's happening. I did want to do a whole get ready with me to go see Beyonce clip and the little segment of this vlog before I actually set off to help me choose an outfit. I had nothing to wear. My outfits didn't arrive. It was a whole drama. I ordered clothes two weeks ago off Depop that I thought, oh my God, would be such a fun little slave for Beyonce and guess what still not arrived the person's That's now so ignoring bad. me on Depop I don't know how I'm surviving right now because maybe it don't even look that chaotic on camera silly girl but I do summer. silly girl summer for real silly girl I summer. don't understand do you feel like my life's been chaos or just is it just me in my head mm. I think it's partially in your head but I feel like it's because you've been here there and everywhere well I have been we have been here there and everywhere my room's tidy actually babe you were just in it still didn't look as tidy as it should be but yeah put the picture in okay me. mother Okay, mother. The picture that you sent me. Uh, my room. I saw, showed it on my vlog. How messy my room was. You showed it. Yes, babe. I'm real, You're honest, real. and truthful. Unlike some, not naming names. 
She's got lip filler. No, I don't think. <laughs> Look at the size of my top lip. I ain't got no lip filler. Anyway, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm just sort of going along with the ride of life. We're going to stop for some food along the way and then... We've obviously been listening to Beyonce the entire way, so I'm going to resume that. Get back to regular programming, and um, I'll chat to you when we get to the service station. I'm really... <laughs> look how ridiculous me and Anna look. Anna's in like a full-on little, little skirt on with little sliders. I've got like a cropped vest on, this gorgeous little belt, um, and a little waistcoat. Got another service service, mid-afternoon. We're going for dinner. Um, and we're actually in Leeds, so we're not even anywhere near Newcastle yet. So people will just be thinking that we've lost the plot because I look a bit like a cowboy chic realness right now. We're going to get some food. We look like what? We're like we cosplay dressing something. Do you know what I mean? Let's go like that sort of vibe. <laughs> Babe, you look like you're ready for a night out. I don't know what the hell I look like I'm ready for. Big gay boy festival, that's what. <laughs> Guys, oh, she's got my hat. excuse this awful angle, we've just pulled up on a random street. There's literally like 50 cars just parked on this street. So me and Anna were like, <laughs> we've been driving around Newcastle or Sunderland for about 20 minutes and all the roads are closed. Anna's map would not update to where we need to drive. Um, so we just pulled up on a random street. A man did just walk past and say, all these cars on here are going to pay a fortune for parking on here. But we're already very late. We should have been here. Our check-in opened between half past four. It opened two and hours ago. Something else. And it, well, that's two hours ago. We had early entry. Now the doors are actually open because may have not left at the exit. We were meant to leave at when I took over driving. I'm very stressed. I need a wee. But I'm also so tired. So we're going to have a little, just doing, do, doing glam in the car. Glam in the car. And then glam and we're going to, glam and go. Glam and go. And then we're going to walk to, the doors. Guys, we've parked up. We just realised everyone's walking up pure grass. Anna's in um big little boots. <laughs> God, there she is! Woo! Girls, it's happening. We're literally trekking Mount Everest to get there. Everyone's got the little memo with the disco hats. To be fair, I feel like my head would look horrendous in a big cowboy hat. But we sort of coordinated. I've got the cowboy yeah. belt on. And it's got the hat and the boots, so it works. I really it want works. to get picked to go to the front. Yeah, Anna yeah. keeps saying that they keep scouting people to put them at the front based on their outfits. Didn't know that well, before I, I came. I don't know if it's all based on their outfits, but that's what um, people are saying on TikTok. So, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Don't think it's going to happen because we are Me extremely not. late, can't lie. <laughs> we made it! My seats are so fucking close, like look. How is that? Where are we sat? Cheers! In immense traffic. We've not even left. I've not even tried to. We've not even tried there. to move the car yet. Um, that was absolutely phenomenal, and I don't know how I'm going to recover from it anytime soon. Did shed a little tear. Incredible. I'm lost for words. I know. I can't even see where you are. Any? Well, no. I meant give it words. I lost words. Oh, slay. Stay true to brand. <laughs> Booyaka in the place. Bitches like me. Roots, darling, roots. Oh, guys, I don't look very fresh this morning, do I? I don't look very like I've slept much. My throat, don't know if you can hear in my voice, my throat is absolutely just, it hurts to even speak, so I do apologise that I sound like this. I, obviously, the last clip you'll have seen was last night at us at Beyonce. I didn't film anything coming out of there because one, I was trying not to cry, and also two, we got in the car, and the drive home was literally horrendous. I knew it was gonna be bad anyway because the traffic up there, it's like a three hour drive, standard, but then obviously with the added like Beyonce tour, traffic in Sunderland were just absolutely insane. I woke up this morning and I felt so tired. I've sat and looked through all the videos I filmed yesterday. I took my camera and this camera is the best thing ever. If you're going to concerts, I'm going to grab it because I want to tell you I'm going to put you on for this. 
Right, not only is this a great camera just to have and the vibes of it are great. It films, it's not the, it is great quality, but it's like not the quality of this. Like you'll have seen when I filmed on it before. It's not like super camcorder to the point where it's like shit visuals. Still really great, but the zoom on this camera, this is what the camera is called. If anyone is like a concert goer, a festival goer, I took it with me to BBC. Obviously you will have seen some incredible footage from Harry Styles on this. It is just the most insane zoom and it keeps the quality when you zoom in. So we had really, really good seats anyway, but I feel like everything looks looks further away when you take it on your phone. Like we had great seats. When I was filming stuff on my phone, I was just like, this is not giving what I want it to give. So I was zooming in and oh my Christ, I've watched the footage back this morning. It is absolutely incredible. You will have just seen it. How incredible. Anyway, I had the most insane night and the fact that I'm going twice, just I feel like the luckiest person in the entire world. I'm so, so grateful to even be, have gone once, never mind going twice. And it, I'm even more excited now to go the second time around, to have a different view, different perspective of the tour. Got this cute little tote bag. They did silver ones as well and I don't know what tickets were the silver ones but all the people that had like were sat in our area had these red ones. You can't really see. There's loads of little graphics on it but obviously because it's clear you can't really see. So we have the 10 10 10 10s across the board. Um, little fan which were cute. They were one part where she's like everyone get you a little things out. Let's do it. Oh, hello. Perfect. So I'll come down now. I've just ordered McDonald's for my lunch guys because I have no food in so I'll be right back. I don't have any shoes nearby. Yeah. Yeah. That's my keys. Guys, talk amongst yourself while I'm gone. Mother has arrived. So yeah, got a fan and then we also got a little Renaissance World Tour cap. How do you do? Slay the world. Um, this is quite a cool hat actually. I'm kind of not hating it. It does remind me a little bit of like something that HM would bring out though. I'm not gonna lie. And then last but not least, we have this little lanyard which I actually wore last night whilst we were watching it before, which I love stuff like this. I'd rather get something like this that I can just cut, keep in a little memory box and just have this to save, to say that I actually went, which is really, really cool. Anyway, I'm now gonna eat my food. I got myself a big taster. Anna really put me on to big tasters. And since then, whenever they back, I absolutely maybe eat too many of them because I honestly don't think there's another burger from McDonald's or anywhere actually that tastes like that.